hello everybody welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'll be teaching you how to use chat gpt to make your timetable this is going to be a very short video so i would encourage you to follow through to the end of this video in order to explore the power of chat gpt my name is nasif as always and i make tutorial videos on productivity softwares that will increase your productivity at work. So if you are interested in increasing your productivity from zero to 100, kindly smash the subscription button and also comment and like, as well as click the notification button to get notified whenever I post a new video. Since 2022, ChatGPT has performed incredibly well and it is us human who continues to train chat gpt recently i was trying to prepare employees timetable and it was really really hard to do this which led me to try chat gpt it was so surprising how it managed to get it done within some few minutes although i had to tweak it a little bit one thing about chat gpt is that you have to always be precise about what you want and in most cases you would get 70 to 90 percent Accuracy. I can see you are curious about knowing how I managed to complete the timetable. Kindly join me on my screen. Let's explore. Okay, so this is the official landing page for the OpenAI that is ChatGPT. You log in and then you introduce to this page. I've already created some some items here. So I started by saying um, make a timetable for 30 days with five people to rotate to rotate at each um, at least each person must be off duty for two days so it started and then um, it created this for me that is a raw format so i went further to say that make a timetable for 31 days with five people to rotate two people must come for morning shift one person for night shift and one person for afternoon shift working days are from monday to sunday at least one person must be off duty for two days each week so it started to generate all these for me and that was really cool and then um, the next one it did for me was um, i said make a timetable for 30 days in all these, I was trying to narrow down to what is exactly what I want. I went to say, make a timetable for 30 days with five people to rotate. Two people must come um, morning shift, one person for night shift. At least one person should be off duty for two days uh, each week. So it went further and then it started creating this for me, which was like kind of very cool and then it's nearly i nearly got exactly what i wanted but um, i tried to narrow it down again so i went further giving more explanation to what exactly what i wanted and then i got this i moved further and then i got a time i got a table and then i moved further again and i got this it was really cool um i moved further again i got this 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 i keep on changing the words so at a point in time i realized that um what i wanted was not what it was giving me and it was basically because it was on the same like charts that i was using so it was actually copying the same thing that it gave me so i decided to change the chart and then I went to um, a new chat, which um, the new chat, I started by, by saying, make a timetable from Wednesday, 1st of March um, to, uh, to Friday, 31st March with Nassif, um, Sylvester, Seth, um, Prince and Sam and some who will rotate morning afternoon and night shift working days are from monday to sunday whoever comes for um, night shifts must have two days off um two days off the timetable should start with sylvester on monday shift 
starting with um, morning, um, set starting with off shift, print starting with night shift, and some starting with afternoon shift. Two people must be more, must be at morning shift. So like it gave me something which was like two people at morning shift. Yes, so which was really cool. But um, I needed to probe it further and then I changed the wording and then it gave me this. I changed the wording, it gave me the other one. And then um, later on, I changed it. And then I think I, I got near what I wanted. I was near what I wanted. So um, I decided to use that and then tweak it a little bit for myself and then yeah so this was what i got which was kind of cool and really beautiful yes so if you want to one secret about chat gpt is always to be precise about what you want keep on um training it what we just did was to train the model so the next time i enter the same thing at least i could get something near um, what i want so yes this is how i designed it and then i think it's cool it saves a lot of time and yeah increases efficiency so thank you for watching this video and i hope you like it if you like this video kindly subscribe click the notification button to get notified whenever i post a new video like and comment and share your thoughts on this video thank you and have a great one